Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday, October the 16th, 2022, as Adam the Woo likes to do. And it's a gloriously warm day, really warm. T-shirt weather, love it. And what we're doing today is I'm at St Michael and All Angels Church, which I have been to before. I've done a couple of videos from here before. I've never really explored the graveyard. And it's a really interesting graveyard as well. So I thought we'd have a little walk around to some of the history if I can. Uh, we have got lunch in the running horses later on. Um, but yeah, I've always wanted to come back here and actually have a proper, proper explore. So um, yeah, let's do this. Good morning, you're all right. As you come into the church, you come through this beautiful lich gate, which was built in 1898 and grade two listed. It's lovely. Became very popular lich gates in sort of the late 1800s where poor bearers could put the, um, the coffin down on the procession, cover themselves for the weather in case it's isn't down with rain. It's a lovely lich gate. I find this really fascinating. Here lie the remains found in unmarked 18th and 19th century graves disturbed during building work to the vestry in 2009. They were reburied here on the 26th of May 2010. So were the, were the remains from the 18th and 19th century or are they much older than that? That's what I'm not quite sure on. Yeah, I will come off because they're just below me. Yeah, the remains were re-incarcerated here. Reinterred here, sorry, reinterred here. Oh, this is an interesting grave here. This is the grave of the Right Honourable Richard Bedford Bennett, 1870 to 1947. Um, born in New Brunswick in Cal Calgary, uh, in Canada. And he actually was Prime Minister of Canada. He's the only Prime Minister of Canada who's buried outside the country and here. He, he, I think he moved back here in later life um, to Mickleham. So a Canadian, a Canadian Prime Minister buried in Mickleham. I love it. It's a very old church as well. There's been a church here since um, Saxon times, like a lot of these settlements. It's very interesting. I have been inside, I think we'll go inside in a minute. I, think I just finished Sunday uh, service. <laughs> I love this door. This is Burmester Gate. Burmester Gate built in 1870. And I think it just leads down to the, uh, to the rectory and named after the Reverend Burmester, who was uh, obviously one of the vicars here. It's great. The way the twining, wood twining, has gone into the, into the structure. Really like it. I mean, it's almost like a folly, really, isn't it? It's like a little folly. A lot of flint stonework uh, in this church, a lot of flint stonework. Yeah, it's very nice. I love that tower, the tower here, it's fantastic. There's a very old tomb here for Dame Philippa Brown, who was who lived from 1624 to 1701, so probably one of the earliest graves here. It says it's near the steeple, but I'm not quite sure where it is because I think the the writing's worn off. Um, yeah. In 2009, there was an article in the Daily Telegraph about lichen, 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 however you pronounce it, and I didn't realise there's actually they live for quite a long time, about hundreds of years. These little um, 
microorganisms. And um, this churchyard here at Mickleham has over 100 different types of lichen. That's more than any other place in the country. So that's quite a little fascinating little fact. Whether it still holds that record, I don't know. But 100 types of lichen, I didn't know. I didn't think there was any more than three or four types, but there they go, I don't know anything. Fascinating. These tombs here are from the 1300s and were uncovered during restoration work in 1823. So you've got two of them here. They've been raised up and now put in the porch. 1300 tombs, or tombs from the 1300s. Isn't that amazing? Is it open? It's very dark in here. Very dark in here, you've got some hatchments up on the up on the uh, wall here, a few more hatchments. Lovely. It's a lovely old church, they're having a little bit of a meeting in here so we want to linger. A bit more light up here, oh, that's lovely. The altar. Jesus amongst a load of people I don't know. They don't look like disciples to me. <laughs> yeah, lovely church. As I say, I've seen my other video from in here, so I'll, I'll link that below. Okay, let's go back outside. Very nice. All said hello to me as I walk in. This is very nice. Yeah. Lovely. We've got dinner in a minute, which will be lovely. Um, before we do this, let's walk down to the bridge. I'm going to show you the bridge. Seventeen twenty-five. Lovely old. Uh, there's Box Hill School. Very exclusive school, Box Hill School. Public footpath we went up last time. Up there. Yeah. Look at that. Very nice. Walking down, you can hear the traffic of the uh, A24 thundering past, which I've been down obviously many times. But we do come to one of my favourite doors. This one here. I love this door. And the old style bell. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice that I like that. Okay, let's risk our lives now and uh, cross the A24. in the back there. I just wanted to cross Weir Bridge. This is Weir Bridge, it's made of iron, built in 1824 and Grade 2 listed. A lot of Grade 2 listed today. Yeah, very nice. Into Norbury Park, Norbury Park Farm. Lots of cows in fields. Not going into any fields today. Then. Oh, loud motorcycle again. Why do they do that? They all look quite docile, don't they? I'll leave them to it. <laughs> okay. I think it's time for lunch at the Running Horses. 
another reference to um, obviously it's an ancient uh, uh, pub it's probably associated with uh, Epsom racing it's uh, 16th century I think uh, the running horses 16th century but uh, yeah I think it's time for a roast it is Sunday after all So there you go, a lovely pub lunch in the Running Horses pub in Mickleham. Hope you enjoyed this little video, very short video. Um, and I'll link the others below as well that I've been over uh, for the last couple of years. And if you have found any, any entertainment in this content whatsoever, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff we do on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Take care.